Hey guys, what is up? I am Double Driven. We're back. I'm back from vacation. Cheers. I uh, I had a good time, man. Felt good to just get back away. One of my missions didn't go through. I wanted to go see the Serpent Mounds, but it's closed during the week. So I'm going to have to go back. I'm actually going to go back during the uh, summer solstice. Um, I don't know if you're into this. I like ancient alien type stuff, man. And I've always wanted to go. My girlfriend wants to go, so we're gonna go back uh, during the summer solstice and uh, check out the Serpent Mounds. Maybe I'll put up a video if I can get the the good shot of the the sun setting over the the Serpent Mound. But um, let's go over some Gwent cards, some new stuff uh, that got uh, released today, and some stuff that I'm a little bit behind on. Uh, starting off with the uh, triangle within a triangle or is it going to be affectionately known as the twat card <laughs> uh boost an ally by its provision cost or damage an enemy by its provision cost so it it can like one bomb something really big if it's you know costed really high or it can just boost up something small you play like a, a yurden or something it'll bump it up to an 11 uh, card seems like it's pretty good. Granted, you're losing devotion because it's uh, neutral, but uh, I think it's pretty good, man. I think it's pretty good. Um, I do have these on my uh, Twitter. I'm creating like a mega thread, so if you guys want to, if you miss some of the reveals or whatever, I try to put them up as soon as possible. Um, they're also up on the Plague Went Discord. Um, but let's check out the next one. Um, the Cat School Witcher Saboteur. Move an enemy unit to the leftmost position in the row. Damage it by one for every card. So it's like Trophy Catch Witcher. Um, I'm loving that Scoyatel's getting movement. I hope that um, Guerrilla Tactics gets a mini buff. I think this card is going to be fantastic, especially in a, a long round one. Um, you know it's 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 almost guaranteed to play over its provision cost and it can have a huge ceiling it might be able to remove a mini engine um and with these new movement cards position is going to be key especially with that bren card so um really cool card i'll definitely be checking out movement squadzel for sure uh next one what do we got uh the one that podja revealed um coded weapons damage an enemy unit by five death blow banish it and spawn a copy of it on the top of your opponent's deck so you can have some fun stuff here with cantarella um kill one of their big things possibly pop it off with uh cantarella um there's other options too you i mean if you want to get super mimi you can use that um the guy that flips cards and you, but you might end up giving them something really good so i don't know about that one but cantarella seems like the play here um just being able to get the unconditional um damage here with the five um is pretty key i think um just having that five damage that they can't play around like assassination um you know it has a as the ceiling of six but they can play around it um and you like i said just you being able to get a, a weapon off of them uh might be huge especially if it's an engine uh, Card's okay. I think I think it'll it's a tactic. So I mean I think it'll find a home somewhere. Uh, next one, uh, failed experiment. Now this card seems a little bit weird. Um, it 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 can be an eight if you play it last. I guess it's a failed experiment. At the end of your turn, lose one coin. If you have no coins, damage self by one instead. While poison, disable this ability so you can poison it and it it becomes uh an eight i guess and then you could possibly have some healing synergy if they give it to them maybe i don't know this uh self-poisoning seems like a, a catch 22 here because if you run into poison then you're screwed uh, but if you don't you might be able to get some good value off it this card I think this is one you got to wait to see what the other bronzes and golds are going to be. If they're going with this self-poisoning, um, I'm not sure which leader you would fit this into. It's probably going to be like, so far it seems like off the books is going to be the leader to go to, but we'll have to wait and see. Not real sure on this one, though. Uh, 
next one, uh, <laughs> Mr. Obla's card, uh, Cosimo Malaspina. Uh, transform adjacent units into random units that cost one provision more. Um, so if you combo this with Alzer, you could, if you do low roll and get like the Regis's and stuff like that, you can um, bump up to, you know, 13s and stuff. Um, they are units, so you can't get um, like scenarios and stuff like that. So it's a meme card. It's going to have its moments. Dandelion's going to have a field day with it, but will it be competitive it's too high rolling um you might change stuff that's okay into stuff that's worse you know so you'll have some fun with it if you want to play it i'm sure it'll have some fun too with um some of the seasonal modes we'll have to wait and see but fun card super fun card uh miss thea beastie she had this card uh, griffin witcher adept Shield order, transform an allied witcher into a base copy of a Griffer, griffin witcher adept. Um, so there's allied witchers. I'm not sure where that's going to come into play. Because um, if you're transforming it into this, you're going to want it to be a lower strength. Or you're going to be losing value. Um, if, and it, if you keep transforming stuff with shields after the order so it's like a revenant with a shield then you can play um broderick or whatever um like i said we'll have to wait and see what what the deal is with the other witchers um if there's i i, I can't see there being a like a witcher that spawns witchers <laughs> that would be <laughs> bananas but um we'll have to wait and see i love this art it this really looks like sir pumpkin uh next one uh, Mr. Andasama, man. I was so happy he got a reveal, man. Um, he does a lot, man, especially in the, the German community, man. Uh, super hyped that he got a reveal. Um, uh, three strength, uh, Viper Witcher Adept. At the end of your turn, boost self by one if your opponent has more cards than you. Uh, a couple people were saying you can play this with um, Portal. I don't know if you want to bust Devotion up for a card that can just die to a tourney joust like doesn't seem very good at all um i i mean it's it's a four provision card i mean if it's it's a different it's an, a magni vision that doesn't need the row to be jacked up you know what i mean so if you're on blue coin it seems like it's an okay play but i don't know about playing it with portal that seems dumb Congrats, too, Dan. I'm, I'm super hyped that he got a reveal, man. Um, and then uh, the last one, uh, this card is awesome. Uh, the Cat Witcher, um, at the end of your turn, move self to the other row and damage a random enemy on the opposite row by one. Adrenaline four, damage an enemy unit by two. Um, I think these cards are really cool, man. I really, I really love that movement Scoia'tael is getting... A buff i hope it gets some kind of like uh passive of some sort um if they do i think that movement might actually come into play you know bringing back oak and um a couple other things um along with that bren card i think that that card's gonna be stupid good on a last say um but you know those are the cards for right now, guys. If you want to, like I said, follow me on Twitter. It's Devil Driven. The I's in my name are L's. So it's D-E-V-L-L-D-R-L-V-E-N. Devil Driven. That's also my Twitch, but I don't really use it that much. Um, maybe maybe this weekend. We'll see. But um, thank you guys so much for everything, man. You guys have been fantastic. Um, we're going to get back on the ball here once the expansion drops and everything. I got a, a mini video probably either tomorrow or sunday with um just some arena play and then um probably ladder leverage will be with wasubi um so um thank you guys so much for everything i'll see you next time